All right, so Joe Budden is taking some heat now, man, for this whole Michael B. Jordan being corny thing that's been going around lately. Now, if you don't know what's been going on before we get into the Joe Budden part, uh, Michael B. Jordan back in the day was carrying like his, you know, headshots around as he was trying to become this inspiring actor and model. And I guess some women back in the day would call him corny because, of course, his name was Michael B. Jordan or Michael Jordan. Of course, everybody like, why are you named Michael Jordan? You know, Michael Jordan and was basically calling him corny for walking around with his headshots. Now, a headshot is basically as a model. Literally, it's a headshot. It's just a picture of you and he will walk around with it. And of course, the school that he was at is in the hood. So, of course, people are going to make fun of him. Like, well, look at you trying to be something of yourself basically and so they called him corny so leading up to fast forward and now he's on this red carpet for of course the i think it's the creed movie yeah creed 3 movie and one of the ladies that he remembered from back in the day he was like oh you don't want to call me corny right or something of that sort right and of course the lady was like no it wasn't me i didn't call you corny it was the co-host which is true um it wasn't her uh but of course michael b Jordan still took offense to the fact that Y'all call me corny. So Joe Budden now, fast forward to that part, goes on his show, the Joe Budden podcast, which I actually really love. And I'm going to actually watch this episode after I'm done recording, <laughs> said that he was a corny dude for how he reacted. And he just took an exception to him and how he responded to the young lady, especially her being a black lady. He just felt like, you know, we need to protect our black queens. Don't turn up on our women like that. Da, 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 da. Here's where I'm on the fence, y'all. I'm not going to sit here and act holy in and out and act like I haven't been in situations or anybody hasn't been in a situation where somebody tried to bully you. Somebody tried to call you ugly. Somebody tried to talk about you. And then you glow up and you get and then you have an opportunity to hold your nuts on them and you didn't take it. I, I, I just feel like you're lying if you haven't had that. If you've been a girl that's been bullied for being called ugly or whatever the case may be, and then now you glow up, all those dudes that you did that didn't want you back in the day, they're in your DMs now, and you have to hold your nuts on them too. So a part of me understands why Michael B. Jordan might have held that grudge because who knows? That could have been the motivation to fuel his his career to where he is now. Who's to say that that didn't fuel him? So I, I so hey, holding your nuts on him, do it. But at the same time, too, it's like, Michael, you've lived an amazing life. You've made more money than more people will probably touch in 10 lifetimes. So to still be holding on to what some women said to you back in high school, I, I can kind of see, too, how that might be a little bit like, come on, bro. Like, damn, you still hold like she must have really hurt your goddamn feelings. So I kind of see both sides. Now, me personally, I probably would have had like a nice little jab. I personally think he held it professionally. I think he did a really good job. Be like, oh, you don't want to call me corny, right? Oh, OK. It's funny to see you interviewing me now. You know, I think he kind of handled it the right way. You know, I mean, he didn't say the interview part, but I think he held it kind of like, yeah, I didn't forget that. Try to think it's a little embarrassed her, but she she did handle it well. I would say both of them handled it well. He could have been real nasty about it. She could have been nasty about it. They handled it well. Um, But I don't I don't really feel like he did anything wrong, though. I mean, I don't think that he, I, I think sometimes, too, we put these celebrities on pedestals and try to act like they're not human. When we all know if, they, if we were at the shoes on the other foot, we probably would have did the same thing. We probably would have been just like, oh, you 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 call me corny. Like, man, get in my face. You know what I'm saying? We probably would have turned up like that. So it's hard for me to kind of crucify him the way most people are doing it. Uh, but regardless of the fact is, I want to know what you guys think. Do you feel like it was corny or do you feel like um, he handled it perfectly? What do you guys think? I want to know down below.